Hello friends, I am Vishnu Morre and today I am going to teach you how to store image in MS SQL database. To store image in database, first of all, we have to create a database in SQL Server. So go to SQL Server and go to your database, expand your tables and database name like in, in my case it is test and here is my table, I have created test table. Go to designer and you have to create two columns. One is the image ID and other is pick. I named as pick. It is a format of image and ID is a format of anywhere care. And give this table a name, anything as you want. I give it a name test table. And after that, creating the database. Uh, in database image id means id 1 2 3 4 whatever we will give to image and pick is the actual image what we are going to store in our database after that we have to create a windows application and give labels labels buttons etc like this as i created already we have to go to design part take two labels and give the name image id take one text box and three buttons and one combo box and two picture picture box after giving the name as, as save browse retrieve now we are going to do coding part of this so first of all we are going to browse the file um, what user want to user want to store go to the double click on browse here I use the open uh, open file dialog file dialog and the object of file dialog fldz and open file dialog and the initial directory uh, when we run the programs it is d after that we are going to filter the filter the image as jpg bmp and gf and jpg bmp are only image format that are allowed except this no other file format is allowed to store on the database so after that we have checked if the uh, fld.show dialog is going to show to dialog result.ok it means what uh, after filtering the, data, filtering the image if it is ok then this code will get executed and what we are doing in this code simply we are, play, what, uh, we are placing the picture into image box like here in this, in this field Uh, we, we assign the image bo uh, picture box the image what we browse uh, recently and after that uh, this will done and after the browse and the image is selected uh, it have to, it has to be stored so we have to click on the store button and uh, to store the image the code is here we uh, i created the function insert here so we have to go to the insert function Here is, here is my insert function remember to store an image in SQL server we have to create the binary format of that image so here it is file stream uh, object to convert an image into binary format I have given the path at the rate of image name of the image and find my dot open because we are going to open the file and read, read only we are not going to modify that image so now we are going to convert that image in array array of 1001 like any binary format so for this i use the fs dot length and length of the image and convert it into byte of arrays this is our code system dot convert dot in 32 fs dot length and after converting is after conversion the binary format is stored in the pick byte array the array which is which named as pick byte or after that um, we have opened the image we have already and we have converted into binary format now our turn is to store it into the database so i created a connection string data source dot that means the server name initial catalog my uh, database name test and integrated security because my both applications are running in my local machine so i don't need to give username and password because it is authenticated, authenticated by windows password mechanism so i created a connection and pass the connection string i open the connection and here is here it is my query insert into uh, test table 
ID image and pic. We are going to store the ID of that image and picture. And ID is coming from textbox one to textbox one, and picture is coming from the pic. And here is the my SQL parameters to insert the data. I executed all the all the things. SQL command executed, and after that, cmd dot execute non query because we are going to insert the database. Insert the data in database. So we need to use execute non query because we don't need anything written from the server. And after that, image uh, message box will show that image will be added, and the connection is closed and already pending. And here I called retrieve method. I will explain this later. Now we are going to on retrieve method. How will we retrieve the images from database? Here I created the data table object, and I read all the things like. Uh, Image ID, image path, etc. I use the file stream object and the image name because there is a multiple table stored in the database. So I am using select star query. I use select star query and can and revert back into the combo box and the image ID which is selected in the combo box will be displayed in the second picture box. And now I'm going to tell about the. Now I'm going to tell about the second method which I left there already. Now I'm going to tell you how, why I mentioned retrieve method in this button in the store button click because when the user store the image. Retrieve method will called automatically, and this combo box will filled by the ID. ID that is stored in the database, so that we can select this ID, and uh, by clicking on retrieve, we can retrieve the images. Like we are going to run this program. Simply browse the file, and like random picks, I selected this pick. And I give any ID, suppose uh, 87, and I click on save. The message is displayed, an image added. What has done there? Image is inserted into the database, and because I created because I called retrieve method on save button click, what it do? It will fetch all the IDs and fill it in fill it into the this combo box, so that I can select here. I what I filled there 87. I clicked on 87 and clicked on retrieve, and the image is retrieved here. Thanks for watching, and if any doubt, please mail me and subscribe my video. I will sort I will sort out any problem faced by you. So please uh, like my video, subscribe it, and if if you fail if you find any problem, then discuss with me. I will here to sort sort out it for you. Thanks for watching, friends.